Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Des here. So in this video po, I'll be covering about why Filipinas and Filipinos can't save up. So this is part 2 of the previous topic that I've discussed before. And uh, before I head into my list, guys, um, I'd like you to understand Filipinos um, by watching this video. This video is not to degrade or look down on Filipinos or to bash at them. It is easy for many of you, many foreigners and other nationalities to just uh, say in general that Filipinos can't save up because uh, we live beyond our means. There are other reasons, guys. Number one is lending money to the relatives. Yes, I know you, uh, all of you, you got my point here. Even I don't have to give you all the details. Well, here's the most beautiful part, okay? If a Filipino won't lend a relative some money, that relative could backstab her or any Filipino. That relative, he or she can make gossips about the person, spread rumors ha about how greedy he or she is. The niece or nephew is now uh, turned into a greedy person because he, uh, she got a foreigner or a fam. You know, she became rude. Now she doesn't, she doesn't want to help relatives anymore. So for a Filipina not to lose face, which I've mentioned before, um, she would just obligate herself to lend money to that relative. Number two is debt of gratitude to the parents. Okay, so a Filipina can't refuse the parents when they want to borrow money because of this culture that's becoming toxic. Mm. Uh, the debt of gratitude culture, mm -hmm, uh, which I've mentioned before in my free, uh, previous videos. So even the parents do not deserve it. You know what I mean? Like there are also parents na they didn't really raise their kids well but they are expecting for something mm. so so the child has no choice but to lend them money so the child feels shameful to ask the money back let's say after a few weeks or the child needs that money because of this uh debt of gratitude thing she won't uh, dare to ask money because it could reflect how greedy or yeah how greedy he or she is mm -mm. and some parents would say how dare you to ask the money and they will start counting all the things that they have given to the child so some parents would even say the money we borrow from you is nothing compared to the sacrifices we have done for you when you're still little um, we have raised you, we fed you, sent you to good schools, and you have the audacity, audacity to tell us to pay you back. Mm -hmm. So the parents would make the child feel guilty Yep, about the money borrowed. So in short, guys, the child is a retirement plan. Okay, I hope, I hope you got my point there. All right, so let's head on to the third one. Money is used to pay debts. All right, so many parents will use their kids, the children's salary, to pay their debts. Yeah, since the Jurassic era. And the lender has a high interest too. You know, so the debt just gets getting higher and higher. Or let's say, uh, because the parents need to wait for uh, some of the kids to have jobs. So the debt is just accumulated like months right for months so unless one child gets a job so the working child will now shoulder the parents debts which they got no choice mm -hmm. so here goes the parents again if i didn't borrow that money you won't be able to eat or finish school so they have this uh, guilt trip thing so the parents would just uh, borrow money from others maybe for their own vices whatever what not reasons mm. uh, and they are hoping that one of the kids will find a job so you know and the kids will just shoulder all the debts yep so for number four 
this is connected to number three the parents would get the fancy stuff and let the kids pay for it yep so even the child earns really good let's say he or she is in a call center okay so she earns uh, 30 40 k pesos a month that will be just we call it gone in the wind or they will all be gone in a few days because the parents could now buy the things they wish for so for example they will request for high-end gadgets move to a better apartment you know uh, upgrade their li lifestyle give and they would give hints to the working child to have a vacation in this place so for example in Boracay like that or mm, Baguio um, just to make the parents happy he or she will sacrifice her own uh, happiness and savings mm -mm. and you know guys there's one should I say sad thing here the parents remember this the parents will say this is uh, th this is the only way for uh, for you to repay us for what we have done to you um, this is just a small gift and you will earn that money again so i hope you guys got my point all right the fifth one is somewhat you have heard before salary is too low okay so you might ask so why not just apply for a high paying job guys it is so easy to say that right so the answer is even a Filipina has finished a four-year course course in a university she wouldn't still get that dream job because of lack of experience and skills the company is looking for so instead of wasting time applying for many companies uh, so waiting for their calls updates she would just apply to a small company like being a, a fast food chain uh, cashier there's nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. okay so she would just apply to a small company with low salary mm -hmm. the last one is blood is thicker than water mindset i think you guys have a clue here so many situations start when the parents are not taking care of their health when they're still younger so this is a reminder to you as well guys <laughs> So, if parents wouldn't take care of their health until they are, you know, until they reach that retirement stage, they will just be diagnosed or they are diagnosed with a life-threatening disease or illness and it's too late. They need dialysis. They, uh, they, they need treatment for tuberculosis. And it means endless hospital bills, never-ending medications. Okay. So he will become the breadwinner of the family. Hmm. Even her brother, now let's say the brother impregnated the, the girlfriend. It's somewhat like she doesn't have any choice to refuse or let's say not to lend them or help them because blood is thicker than water. Only stops, it could stop if she uh, lives on her own like move out pay her own rent right and start a new life but most of the time this is the sad thing many wouldn't really leave the family and uh, the parents would re really beg like please don't leave us can you really do this to us we are your family uh, don't worry about this um, i'm gonna tell your brothers or siblings to find work so that they can repay you and so on and so forth Whew, that was a lot uh that's a summary guys so i appreciate that you being here and uh thank you for always supporting my channel for the thumbs up the comments uh what else for sharing my channel to others subscribing and w watching my ads it's really helpful uh, thank you for everything guys uh, my comment section is always open for your opinions if you disagree if you agree on whatever uh, whatever I've said here mm, uh, if you want to add more or if you want to uh, if you want to share your 
personal experience, right? You have a Filipina before or now, and then they, they, they share these stories. These are real stories, guys, and there could be other reasons there why a Filipina or a Filipino can't save up. So thank you guys. Uh, see you next time. Bye.